Hi, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and bring you guys kind of an odd video. Um, so there is a new boss that has entered Ray class. I'm not sure if you guys have seen him or not. And it's actually very difficult to fight this boss. In fact, most builds cannot even get to this boss. Uh, you have to be a maximum, I think, and minimum of level 7 to even attempt this boss fight. Uh, and you're actually not even allowed to ever leave Twilight Strand. Before you guys actually think I'm bullshitting and I'm kidding, I'm really not. I'm about to show you guys some never-before-seen footage of Uber Hillock. So Uber Hillock rests all the way over here, and you can tell it's an Uber version if he's got a green glowing sword going through him. Now, I have built this character and theorycrafted for tens of thousands of hours on my build and gear that would be the most optimal for this. So we're currently using Lesser Poison with Viper Strike, and we're going to fight this guy. Oh. No. Now, Uber Hillock is a very dangerous fight, and since we're playing in hardcore, we need to take the most of uh, extreme precautions to make sure that this doesn't happen, or any rips occur. Now, when you slay Uber Hillock, he will drop a new unique. Well, anything is better than being stuck in that. His mindless thirst fell far short of my desires, simple though they are. But now there's you. So vital. So defiant. So take me. This dying world is but kindling, yet its unquickened blood may boil once again. And I've waited so long for a real bar. The new unique featured the Oni, is it Gorashi Sharon Sword? So, I'm going to leave this for you guys here so you can take a look at it. And then, I'm going to go ahead and share my method to you guys as to what you're supposed to do to acquire the Oni Gorashi Sword. <laughs> Oni gachi, dude. Oni gachi. Okay, so the method that I use to acquire this is I originally made four characters. Now, one of the characters was sacrificed by entering the town. Super feels bad, man. However, the method that I used is I'm going to show you. So I created a character. After creating your character, your goal is to hit level 7. Don't ask why, that's just what everyone seems to work on is level 7. So you're gonna go through Twilight Strand and you are gonna clear mobs and you're gonna basically gear out your character so that you can fight Uber Hillock. Uh, so that would mean, you know, Iron Rings. Uh, you wanna get as much attack speed if you're playing an attack build and movement speed as possible. You're gonna one-shot everything anyway, so you just you wanna hit it quickly. Um, Maybe consider getting a weapon swap for a two-hander for the actual boss fight. Uh, you want to get movement speed, etc. Now, on my character specifically, uh, they're all around the same playtime. So this character is an hour and eight minutes. The other character you just saw was probably an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, not much longer. Now, after you get to Hillock, Hillock is not the real boss of this game. The real boss is actually this door right here, a gate thing that takes you to the first town. You don't ever want to go there, because if you leave, you can't come back here. There is no portaling allowed while you're here. You literally cannot portal here. You cannot bring a friend in. Your friend can't come in and give you uniques. This is you versus mental fortitude in Hillock. So you have to log off, and you have to make or go on to another character. Now. After you log off of that character, you cannot log back into it for, I believe, 90 seconds. I think that's how long it takes to reset Twilight Strand. I don't know the exact amount. Don't burn me. That's why I made multiple characters. Now... Actually, that's pretty much about it. There's really, there's really not much else. Uh, you can play this as any of the classes. Uh, when you actually hit level 7, I'll show you this character as well. 
when you actually hit level 7, um, the method that I just used to show you guys is I pretty much skipped all the mobs, make sure you have your flash charges, and then you want to actually fight the boss and then just reset. So let me go back and see if we have a hillock. Nope, this is regular right hillock. Alright, but now I want to actually, I want to see, I want to smack something with this weapon. So let me actually, oh. Wait. Who did I get the weapon on? Am I stupid? Was it this one? Oh, it's this one. This character has it. Oh, 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 oh. I got so confused. Woo! I was like, oh, God, what happened? Okay, okay, we're gonna... Let's put the weapon on. Let me take off the uh, MTX, though. That looks pretty cool. Alright. <laughs> Let's go. I wanna go. I wanna go smack something. I don't really know if this is a good demonstration to show off the weapon, but but uh, we're gonna we're gonna go see. <laughs> One oh three jacked DPS. Let's go. What is the only thing that rolls on it? Is there? Does anything roll on it, actually? Go Goodbye. Stay sharp out there. Frost blades. Crit chance seventy ninety. Oh, we got Stay eight. Stay sharp out there. That's not that bad. Hello. Vol it? Be well. Why do you guys want me to vol it, dude? I don't even know what build I want to play yet. I gotta at least get the colors. I feel like frost blades in this is gonna be retarded. Like, in a not good way. Alright, let's go. Let's go fight the breach mobs, dude. Or not breach, sorry. Abyss. Why am I lagging? 40 FPS, dude? Oh god, what happened? As you guys can see, completely unlinked. The scaling's already pretty good. Doesn't even matter if you have shit FPS, you're good to go. But anyway, that's all I wanted to show you guys, was a little bit of how to get this new weapon and how to fight Uber Hillock. So hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I will see you boys all tomorrow. Have a good one.